So we haven't looked at sets for a little while and they get messy because the numbers don't like to talk to each other until of course you can start to simplify some of those thirds. So let's have a look at um, Arian's first line. What's he done here? What's this first line about? Hmm. What's he trying to do? He's, um, he's got brackets here and he has no brackets here. So what is the process he's gone through? He's expanded, very good, and he's done that in two stages. He said, okay, look, what this means is I want to have square root of 8 lots of this, and I want to have three lots of this. I do both of them. So that's what this line is about. Um, I think it's wise to do that in two stages because if you do it all in your head, if you're confident and quick, great, but um, if something goes wrong in this line, and you don't have the previous one, it's much harder to work out what, uh, what has gone wrong. So we can see here, 5 root 8, does that look good? Not a rhetorical question. Yeah. 5 root 8, it does look good, right? Okay, good. 2 root 16, that's come from these two. Is that, yeah, is that what happens to square roots when you multiply them? Looks good. Uh, 15 and minus 6 root 2. There are some negative signs flying around there. Do they all look like they're in the right spots? Are we happy with the negative signs? Because that's a really easy spot to muck up. I'm happy, good. Um, so from there, he's then simplified two things, the first two terms. So that square root of 8, we can write that with a smaller number under the square root, which is a bit easier to work with. So instead of the square root of 8, what's he converted that into in the next line? It's 2 root 2, because the square root of 8 really is the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. They're, they're out the front, there's your 2. Okay, uh, So that looks good. 2 times, what's that? That's 4, so 8 looks good. And now we're finally in a position where everything's expanded out. We just need to, what's it called again to get from here to here? Collect like, Collect like terms. There's the root twos. There's four of them. Uh, there's the whole numbers, the rational numbers. Seven looks good. Great job. Okay. Uh, now, let's have a look. Now that I've put the numbers in the right spots, um, the formula, of course, that we were talking about was that area is half AB sine C. So you can pick any two sides, but the angle that you need, which is the mistake I made before, the angle you need has to be between those two sides. And this is a bit weird because usually you know all these things and you have to find this, but what have I done? Kind of switched around for it. Yeah, I've given you the area. So this is what my working would look like. I'll go back to a more legible color. The area is on the left-hand side. So my first line of working would start with 100 equals. And then I start to put in the information I know. A half, A and B, doesn't matter which one is which, sorry, so 15x, and then sine this angle in here, 63 degrees. Now, uh, I've been asked to find x, so I need to make that the subject. It's here tangled up with all this other stuff, so what should I do to get it on its own? I should be dividing, shouldn't I? Um, this over here is 15 on 2, sine 63. So if I divide everything, on this side, I'm going to get 100 divided by 15 on 2 sine 63. Yeah, is that okay? You see how I've divided everything over there, leaving x behind? Okay. And that is just, I mean, you, you can do a little bit of stuff with your fractions there, but because you need your calculator anyway for this guy, you kind of might as well just go for it. So, what did you get? 14 points. Uh, two decimal places is enough. I didn't ask you for it, um, a particular accuracy. Quick sense check. 14.96 centimeters. Does that sound about right? Yeah. Yes. I think it looks okay. Um, so happy times. You often get questions if we want to make it a little bit trickier. Um, instead of giving you all the things on the right hand side and asking you to find out the subject, um, we make you change the subject and then rearrange. But it's the same formula underneath. Okay.